my god this thing is huge <laughs> i didn't expect it to be so big hello everyone tungsten here so today we're gonna look at something that i bought okay let's take a look at this thing over here okay so what's this thing this thing is actually the uh afterburner from worker my god this thing is huge <laughs> i didn't expect it to be so big yeah so uh yeah so we'll take a look at uh how it looks like and uh how what are the parts and uh basically i'll not install the uh so-called all the flywheels and then test the fps rather let's just take a look at the, the item itself uh it comes with uh xt60 connectors over here uh so you have a male and a female i guess it's for you to uh implement the setup yeah uh and then it is wired up with uh i believe it is a uh, whoa 14 awg 14 gauge a wire over here as well as another 14 uh, 14 awg so yeah so this wire will uh, hold pretty well uh, it comes with a set of screws uh, these are not for your cage rather i think it's for securing securing what's inside so i also bought various um sort of rails so that uh, later on we can just sort of fix it up on the uh, mock-up drive so you can see how the overall look of the um, entire implementation all right so the the main uh, afterburner itself, um, I would say it's pretty nice looking in terms of details. All right, okay, over here I think it's pretty nice looking. Uh, overall detail, uh, there are quite a lot of uh, sort of design element over here. And then uh, you can open it up like this. And then inside, there's actually another sort of plate. Um, there's an arrow over here. Uh, I believe this is to tell you, you know, where is the uh, front facing. Okay, so you're supposed to face the uh, so-called exit. If you put it the other way down, you can't put it in, I guess. Uh, so yeah, just a uh, uh, when you want to mount the uh, cage. So uh, I guess let's take a look at the uh, cage that uh, you can uh, sort of implement. So I have, I use all the worker cage over here. And this is the old red cage. Can it really fit? And of course, uh, can it take the uh, height of a uh, 180 motor? Alright, so first I try the, uh, the sort of the new, the newer cage from worker. And uh, with a 180, uh, moto okay so it just go in okay so just go in pretty nicely um yeah so these are 3d printed so i guess you have to be real careful when you sort of secure them don't over tighten you'll break your stuff okay and then of course uh, can uh, put it in and secure 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 it nicely right so can you close uh let's take a look okay and let me just see yeah it, it can close pretty well with the 180 motor and uh with the uh, uh newer cage and then there's a uh hole over here for you to sort of uh secure it secure it and tighten it yeah so there's an opening here whereby you can uh, sort of link the wire. Now from the instruction, I believe they they, they are saying that you no, know, the if you want to do a connection, it should be within here. Then uh, guy, the other side will basically uh, link through, and then you do your connection more or less okay over here rather than leading. But it's up to you, I guess. Right. So the other the other thing that I want to sort of test is basically can I put a uh, um, sort of a canted cage inside? Okay, so and uh, can it close well? 
So again, okay. Let me just. Yep. So it can go in pretty well. Yep. Now, if you are curious whether it lines well or not, okay. Yeah. So this is how it lines. It's fine. Yep. This is a bit too long, so I'm gonna cut down this a little bit. Yeah, can it close? That's the question for a canted cage. Hmm. Yep, can. So it goes through pretty well. Alright, so. Yes, can it just push through? Yep. Yeah, I can. Right? So it fits this barrel as well, of course. <laughs> it's worker product. Okay, their own product. Right. Now, as for the older cage, like this guy over here. Okay. So if we try, uh, this will not fit. Right? Okay, so the alignment, if you have the old, this kind of red cage, it actually does not really fit, right? Doesn't go in as well, the holes are too small. Yeah, so I guess this kit will work more for the newer cage. Yep. Now, so uh, I guess in the future video, I'll probably implement it. Mm, I'm thinking of having uh, a high crash. For the first stage and a uh, motor of higher torque and then for the second stage i want to have a canted cage and uh it's not so high crush in fact uh, the further part is better okay i want this to push off with a high power and then this guy is basically just to increase the spin and then uh, make it a uh, turn so that's my plan in the uh, if I were to implement it uh, in a later stage so this guy maybe I will the second stage I will get something with a higher RPM yeah so that's my thinking now <clears throat> what's next so I think I can uh, show uh, how it looks like uh, when you fit onto a strife so uh, you can purchase this uh, uh, with various rails from worker as well so there's one for the bottom one for the top and then uh, this is for the strife this is for the strife yeah so how, do, how am I gonna fix this so I'm gonna just show you so I can uh, fix the bottom rail pretty loose uh, for this demonstration I guess I can remove this guy over here <clears throat> okay let me just tighten it a little bit so it don't move around yeah so for the top part okay I guess you can secure it first and then later on and you can push it in okay so I'm gonna secure it on here All right <clears throat> let's see let's give it a, a barrel okay so you can have a look and uh, for the strife Okay, so if you have a strife, okay, you can get hold of uh, this piece over here. There you go. And then, this piece you can also buy. And you can Okay, yeah, so pretty simple and straightforward kind of uh, implementation. So over here, okay, so this is, uh, I think it's the rails that, that are is, uh, obstructing. So let me just push them into places and then uh, I'll, I'll fit it in, then get back to you. All right, so I know what's the resistance. So over here, there's this silver screw. I think it's supposed to uh, 
help lock in place with the strive there's a hole over here all right okay so it's supposed to help it uh sort of friction fit better so you'll find a little bit of resistance when you go in so you get to push it up and then twist it in so it will be well pretty 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 secure uh, that's that's actually good all right so you can put this uh like this and then slot it in and then you can secure with a screw that they provide i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show you how it works how it looks like eventually so you have this portion over here and at your stock yeah and then maybe you can add this guy over here oops okay whenever i have two pieces like this i like to sort of use this kind of uh, attachment to clamp in between okay in a way oh <laughs> okay and uh yeah you clamp it in between so now it's an extra kind of a uh, uh, system for for it not to come apart Okay. Yeah, of course you can put on your whatever it dot side. Yeah. Okay, let's get a magazine and have a look. All right. So this will be a better look at uh, how it looks like. Uh, of course, you can uh, do additional parts what else do I have yeah okay so you can put this as well over here and then let's just open up one of this you can place the uh, yeah a rail here there you have it so the uh, look of the uh, completed sort of strife will look something of this sort so this is actually the afterburner itself so it doesn't look that uh, out of place in my opinion it, it looks pretty blend in and uh, yeah pretty nice in my opinion it's a bit wide as you can see from the top view it's uh, not exactly small right it's actually quite big <laughs> but uh, I'll say the side view looks uh, very nice okay and yeah the overall is pretty good and now of course uh, how, how it performs uh, I guess I'll install it in, uh, and let you guys know so I'm Tungsten uh, if you like my content do subscribe and uh, hit the like button I appreciate that greatly so uh, see you